Hey friends, my name is Frances Eve. I'm the founder of Holy Stretch. It's short for holistic stretching, which means that we're learning how to stretch our fascia in all different kinds of ways. One of my favorite things to teach people is how to self massage because not only do you feel more peaceful, more relaxed, looser, but you also feel more free, right? It just feels great. So I'm gonna show you in this video different tools that you can use to feel better. If you have chronic tension, chronic pain and tightness, those kinds of things, um, or you're just coming home and you wanna relax. These are all great tools. These are different kinds of foam rollers and myofascial massage tools that you can just use on your own. And I'm not mentioning any particular brand names as I am not endorsed by any particular brand and I know there are so many great brands out there. So I'm just gonna show you the different types of tools and what you can find to work on yourself. If you're interested in this video, I do have another video based on the gua sha tools that I will link the, um, at the end of the video. All right, so I will see you on the inside, let's go. Hey friends, welcome back. I'm glad you joined me today as this lesson could totally change your life if you decide to invest in one of these foam rollers for yourself. Man, these things have brought me so much relief. I have a long day at work and I just want to come home and relax. Like These will totally ease your pain. So I'm going to show you the first one, very simple foam roller. If you look up foam roller, there are many different types and I will go into some of those different types, but um, for the most part, you have a soft, medium, and a firm. So this one is very firm. Um, you can also get a softer one, like if you're not used to foam rolling. I've been foam rolling for years, so I like the, the firmer ones. And also just experiment if with the soft and the medium if you're just starting out. So how you use the foam roller is you wanna just put it down and then I like to start from my hip and then rolling all the way down to my knee. So I will make another video showing you many different kinds of poses with the foam roller, uh, different ways that you can use it. But today I'm just gonna show you real short and quick how to use it, okay? So you just wanna put it on the floor and then lay down on top of it. So you're gonna be rolling your hip all the way up towards your knee. So you just want to walk yourself out. Now when you find a sore spot or it feels really tight, you want to try and relax your muscles. So you want to do the best you can to relax the muscle once you feel some kind of pain. Instead of just rolling over the pain real quick like this, you could do that. I find that it's a little more beneficial to rest the leg down on to the foam roller and just melt it. So you just really literally want to feel that and not melt on the foam roller. And then you can slowly roll to another area that's tight once that one gets relieved, okay? So I use it here on the quads, especially use it on the hamstrings, calves, glutes. You know, you can do it this way as well and roll out the glutes if you're tight. Anywhere that you're tight, these things are a great relief if you use them correctly. And as you're using them correctly, just be aware that when you come to a sensitive or tight spot, that is what needs the most attention. So what are you gonna do? Melt the muscle. Don't avoid it, melt it, all right? Okay. So that is the most basic foam roller. The other one I wanna show you is this baby, this is a foam roller that has lots of little nubs. And you will find different styles of foam rollers that have smaller nubs, longer ones. So what's up with the nubs? Okay, um, I like to use this on my back because what the nubs do, is they go into the pressure points. Imagine if you had a bunch of fingers as opposed to a palm of a hand. So the fingers will press into your sore spots and my kitty wants to come hang out. <laughs> so the nubs will press into the sore spots, whereas the flat one may not get as deep. Okay, so that's why you would want to choose this one 
for neck and back. I would recommend it for the neck and back. You can use it anywhere, but I especially like it for the neck and back because that's where all the tension is like in the traps. So you can just roll around on this baby and use it all the way up to your neck and head. You can even um, bring the nub to rest underneath your head. And that's a huge stress reliever. I'm gonna fall asleep on this video if I don't hurry up. <laughs> this is a good one. So I definitely recommend this one for if you have any neck and head tension. So good, so good, all right. The um, other tool I'm gonna show you is a uh, so right tool. This gets into the hip flexors and the psoas. You can also use it for other areas of your body, but to be honest, I just use this in my hip flexors. I don't use them anywhere else. So I'm gonna put this down here, and then you wanna lay on top of it, because a lot of us are really tight in the hip flexor, and when you can just lay and melt, uh, then you might find that you have a lot of blood rush down to your legs. That's what happens to me when I use this thing. And usually I'll just lay here for 10 or 15 minutes, just releasing the tension and hip flexors. And wow, I really don't want to get up right now. <laughs> but I do want to show you the next tool. Okay, so this is really highly recommended if you have tight hip flexors. So right, okay? The last one I'm gonna show you is just a simple yoga ball. So, um, you know, you can find these like as a massage tool, but you don't need a special ball. This is really simply, very similar to a tennis ball. So you can just get a tennis ball. When you have a knot in your back or your glute, or um, if you have tight feet, you might not know that you have tight feet, but if you have tight feet, that can affect your hips, uh, which in turn can affect your shoulders. So sometimes different parts of the body that get tight are caused from having tight feet. What you can do is take the ball. I would stand up, but I don't wanna deal with the whole video thing, so I'm just gonna be right here. And you wanna press your foot into the ball, okay? So you're gonna just roll that foot alongside the tight parts of your foot, when you feel tension, you just want to melt into it. Again, anytime you feel a tightness, stop, pause, and allow it to melt, all right? Remember to melt it. No avoiding, melting. So if it's really painful for you, my suggestion to you is remember to breathe. Your breath will allow your muscles to relax, okay? So you can use it for that. You can also take the ball and roll around. If you have a tight hip, roll around your hip or use it on your QLs, really anywhere. Take the ball and then you can just lay and roll around to release tension and tightness and pain, okay? It's also really good for traps. So if you wanna just put it behind your neck and then lay. And you can use your body weight to push even deeper into the ball ah, for deeper relief. <laughs> if you need to cry, that's cool. Just remember to breathe, that helps. <laughs> Woo. So all these tools are super beneficial. Um, if you like any of them, I highly just recommend that you check, check them out and start using them uh, every day because all of us have some tension and tightness in our body and when we can take our healing into our own hands, then we can really feel free and just feel better, right? And just have more fun in life. <laughs> Be back and chill and relax. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you're interested in a gua sha video, I have different tools that I use. Definitely check that one out. And if you like videos about different kinds of tutorials, learning how to feel better in your body, definitely subscribe to the channel. So there's so many more videos. I love you guys so much. Take care, enjoy yourself, and feel free.